Growing up, I really didn't watch a lot of the James Bond films. It wasn't until Casino Royale came out in 2006 that I really began getting into the franchise. I've seen all the Daniel Craig films, and I've loved every one of them. Yeah, I even love Quantum of Solace. But the other night, I was kind of bored, and I thought, hey, you know what? I'll watch one of the Elder Bond films. In comes License to Kill, starring Timothy Dalton. This Bond film, when it came out, it kind of flew under the radar, from what I understand, because of its darker tone that it was going for. From what I've researched on the film, it's a lot more violent than the other Bond films. Now, I can only speak based on the Daniel Craig films that I've seen, and yeah, I'd agree this film's pretty violent. A couple times it had me cringing from the violence, but I don't think that in any way detracts from the enjoyment I got from the film. I feel like the film achieved what it was going for. I thought that this was a fun James Bond film. It shows how revenge can consume a person and cause them to do whatever they feel is necessary to achieve retribution. I mean, about an hour into the film, Bond basically resigns from MI6 and gives up his license to kill because he has a vendetta against this drug lord that murdered his friend. He feeds a dude to a shark. He frames another guy and causes him to get thrown into a pressure chamber. He shoots another guy through the chest with a harpoon. I mean, Bond is not messing around in this movie. And Timothy Dalton plays Bond with such good intensity. And you can feel the rage he feels towards Sanchez. And it helps you to sympathize with Bond more and cheer him on when he's messing people up. Timothy Dalton also captures Bond's charm. He's able to pretty much talk his way into Sanchez's drug empire, posing as an assassin, framing other people to get Sanchez to trust him more because he knows Sanchez values loyalty more than money. And it's not even till the near end of the film that Sanchez knows, oh, this is the guy that's after me. Now, that's not to say that Sanchez is dumb. Far from it. I mean, Robert Davi plays Sanchez so emotionless and so ruthless, he can't help but love it when he's on screen, and he has no qualms about murdering someone who gets in his way. Also, something else I really liked about this film was the action scenes. They were shot really well. Nowadays, a lot of films do that shaky cam thing, which is really annoying where you can't tell what's going on, but the action in this movie was shot very well. It was very grounded. You could see what was happening. You could tell who was being punched, who was being shot, and I appreciated the film more for it. Sure, there were some goofy things here and there, being that it was a grounded film, like when his 18-wheeler does like a wheelie to avoid a fire, and when he dodges a missile with the 18-wheeler. But overall, like, I liked it. And holy hell, were there a lot of explosions in this movie. And it was big explosions, too. But it was still fun to watch. Somewhere where I thought the film fell a little short was in the romances. I mean, the one between Bond and Bouvier, played by Carrie Lell, they randomly started making out after Bond finds her and rescues her from a bar, and all of a sudden she's in love with him. I just didn't buy it. I felt like the movie would have been a bit better if they maybe saved the love interest thing till the end, and then had them maybe bicker back and forth, but then come to respect each other in the end. Maybe that's cliche, but I think the love interest thing was sort of in there for the sake of being there. I didn't really feel the chemistry between Timothy Dalton and Carrie Lowell. Other than that, it's hard to find things to complain about with this film. Acting was top-notch. Timothy Dalton did a great job playing Bond. He's, he's right up there with Daniel Craig as far as I'm concerned. And Robert Davi did a good job playing the villain as well. The action scenes were fun, they were shot well, the narrative, while somewhat being unoriginal, being a revenge story and all, had enough intrigue in it to make it interesting, so overall, I'd give this movie a 9 out of 10. Hey, if you guys like this review, be sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, tell me who your favorite James Bond is, and go ahead and tell me who your favorite James Bond villain is. I'd have to say my favorite villain still is Silva. But anyway, I hope you guys like this review, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Now, if I was Bond in that position, and I rescued a girl from a bar, and she wanted to make out, I'd be all for it. But then afterwards, if she's like, I love you, I'd just be like,
I love cake. 